Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Third Pure Books. Today we are in the Phoenix A320, and I'm going to try and help you solve a problem even after the first update that they have released for this plane that may still be happening to some of you. Which is, you don't have reverse thrust, and you can't calibrate the throttle in the NCD. Okay. So, here we have our SciTech X56 throttle, and that step inside seat right here in the upper left hand corner of the screen. That's what we're using today, that's what I use. And we're going to go to the NCD main menu because this is what you're going to see when you first fire up, fire up the plane. And you're saying, I know this. Okay, so we know that we have to go to config from the main menu. We have to go Click that button. Brings up the simulator control page and you say control config. You click that button to bring that up. And then you go to calibrate. Now I already have it calibrated, so if you already have it calibrated, well, then this is how you uh, totally delete your calibration. You click clear calibration and it's gone. But if you've never calibrated it, you don't have that. So, Everyone who is calibrating it for the first time, you would go to calibrate, and you click this, and here's where the problem starts. If you look at the throttle in my hand, it's all the way back in real life, and it's at zero. But when I rock it back, nothing works. I'm going to show you a magic trick, and I'm going to show you how to do it, because you probably already did this before, but if you've never done it, let's do it again. I have a button or a key bound on my throttle to activate the thrust reversers. It's right here by my thumb. I push it, and now I'm at reverse idle. But I'm still not up there, right? Well, I'm walking forward. I'm at full reverse idle. And you can say, well, how does that work? Oh, okay. So if you've never done this, I'll show you how to do it. So let's cancel our calibration, okay? Because I'm going to show you, outside of the Phoenix and outside of the MCDU, we're going to go into our controls option in the game, the sim, whatever you want to call it, and you hit escape, and it brings up your options menu for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And you hit control options, and you find the device you're working on. Well, it's already up right here. It's my throttle. It's not going to be my mouse, it's not going to be my keyboard, it's not going to be my rudder pedals, it's not going to be the stick, it's going to be the throttle. Right, brings me up the throttle. You have to find your throttle, whatever it may be, and select it. And now I have all of these, you know, uh, my throttle comes with a, a map on the outside that shows me you have all these buttons. Uh -huh. So I want to bind one of these buttons. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I want to bind a button. So I've got my throttle selected and I want to go to power management. Mm -hmm. And I want to find throttle. And I already have it bound, so it's here. Reverse thrust, one. Now I'm just gonna show you the propeller one because it's the same button. When I push the button physically, button one shows up. And the sim, which means the software my computer is registering and the hardware on the stick is saying that button works right because i have it bound but let's say you don't have anything bound so if you don't have anything bound it would look like this come on propeller go away there we go it would look like this, throttle, because we're not worried about propeller, it's not a propeller plane. And there would be nothing, there would just be, if you've, if you've tuned your throttle, as I slide it forward and back, the sim registers that I have my throttle. Um, you know, and it works. But, see it says, well, don't worry about reverse access, don't check those, unless you, that doesn't apply to the thrust reverse. But I don't have anything these don't reverse axis doesn't mean thrust reverse um, 
I'll tell you what reverse access does in a second. I'm just going to focus on what we're doing so I don't confuse you. So I would say, well, I want to bind a key for reverse thrust. Okay, I'm here, I'm in my throttle, you know, I have it selected, and I'm going to go to search by name. I'm going to type in reverse. Okay, so it brings up, there's propeller reverse thrust, right? Well, I already did it, so that's why it's there. But I want, for jets, like the, the A320, I want just throttle. This isn't going to matter for a jet. And this is only for, like, King Air and other propeller-based planes um, that have a reverse propeller thrust. So we want just reverse thrust, so let's get rid of the propeller so it doesn't confuse you. We just want reverse thrust, so we have two empty boxes. Don't worry about whole reverse thrust, You that just don't do it right now. You can do it later, um, but we're just worried about toggling the throttle reverse thrust. So there's my option, I typed in reverse, it's power management throttle, I click it. I'm going to click start scanning. I'm going to take my thumb and put it over the button physically that I want to use. And I click start scanning. And it does the flashy thing. And I push the button. It registered joystick button 1. And it says this button is already used somewhere else. Do you want to bind it anyways? I know it is. If you've never bound it, you're not going to get this. If it comes up and it says this button is bound somewhere else, read what it says because then you're going to cause a conflict. Um, you either can't use that button if you have a conflict, or you have to find this one, clear it, and then go back, repeat those steps, and assign it to the button you want, and then, you know, you'd have to do button swapping. I'm not going to cover that today, but if it just says toggle propeller reverse thrust, like someone already did that, or you did it, well, that's fine. Propeller reverse thrust, and Throttle reverse thrust is fine. There's not going to be a conflict. So I hit validate. There's validate and it shows button one. So it shows button one and I'll show you what I mean. Now I'll click propeller. And it's the same for both. Now I'm going to say this is why this conflict is not going to cause an issue in the sim. There are no planes that have a propeller reverse thrust and a throttle reverse thrust jet engine that work together. Not yet, at least. Um, so this conflict won't affect anything. If it said like flaps when you got that, or it said like landing gear or something, then um, every time you hit your reverse thrust, it'll also activate that feature and you'll be going, what's going on? Or it won't work at all. So. Make sure it's clear, otherwise you have to do swappy swap things, and I can cover that in another tutorial. Not today. So, I've got my button assigned, and I hit apply and save, and now it's saved, so it's there. Every time I push the button, the computer registers it. I know that we're good to go ahead and calibrate the MCDU, right? Let's go back to that. So, go back, resume, here I am. Right? Okay, so we're back at square one, all the way back to square one. Now that I've bound my key for reverse thrust, I'm in MCD menu. Again, I click config, and I go to control config, and I go to calibrate, and I'm here, and it says set throttle levers to max reverse. Watch what I do. I push my button, and I'm in idle. I roll my throttle forward. I'm at max reverse thrust. And so now I hit next step. Because I know I'm at max reverse thrust, I can see it. It's going to say set it's idle reverse. So I want my throttle back until I hit that detent. I hear the click. I hit next step. Set it to idle. So now I'm going to push the button and rock it forward just, just a hair and it goes to zero. I am now at idle reverse. Okay. And I click forward for next. Set it to climb. And 
there, I select it to flex MCT. From there, I select it. Then I go to take off GA, and I select it. And it's now calibrated, and I hit store calibration. And you have the option now, you know it's calibrated, it has calibration here and calibrate. So now, again, let's just say, for argument's sake, I'm flying around, um, and I'm coming in for a landing, so let's just say, you know, like this, and we're on the landing approach, we're approaching a runway, use your imagination. And I've got my flaps, whatever, and I'm at the right speed, and now I'm bringing it down to idle, right, to get ready, and touchdown. And so now I bring it, right, I don't want any more forward throttle. Right, but I want reverse thrust, so I push my reverse thrust button, it goes to idle, and I go full reverse thrust, right, and obviously wheel brakes, and we're now at zero knots, so I go back to reverse idle, keeping my feet on the wheel brakes, and I push the button, and it goes back to zero, just like I did right there. And sometimes you have to nudge the throttle forward just a hair after you push the button to get back to zero, just a, just a, just a touch. And now you're at idle zero, and now you want to get off the runway, so you bring the throttle up, back off the brakes, and the plane will accelerate forward normally. Okay, and you can say, well, I don't believe you. Okay, well, that's fine. Not everybody does, understandably so. So, I'll show you physically that it works. Right? Okay. So... You can watch my hand, and you're saying, but look, it does that all on its own. Yeah, my throttle is a little bit heavy, but it's fine. So, release my parking brake, there's a key down for that, and it's going forward on idle. And this thing is a little, little touchy. Right. Okay, so we're inside the cockpit, and we want to go to idle. So there we are, we're at idle. Right, I want to go backwards. Push the button. Oh, now I'm at idle. I put my feet off the brakes and I push forward on my throttle. Oh, but it walked forward for a second. I know. I know. It does that. And now it goes fully backwards. Just like it should, because that's what reverse thrust does. And back to zero. Right? We're close. Right, we're at zero. Okay. And I go forward, and I'm at idle, and the door is shut. There they go, they shut. And I want to go forward, and I roll my throttle forward, and the plane goes forward, and it goes forward full throttle, and I don't want to do that because I'll, you know, kill the airplane marshal. And, uh, not only probably the end of investigation for that, but I will feel horrible because, you know, I killed a digital man and I sucked him digitally into the digital engine. Yeah, that's horrible. You never want to see something like that. But anyhow, that's not even a joke. Yeah, that's a horrible thing to see. So, this works. This workaround works. And you're saying, well, it sounds awfully loud, right? Well, there we go. So we just bring it back down to zero. And I'm there and I'm at idle. The brakes are set. This works, everybody. This will work to solve the no reverse thrust calibration issue. There is another way to do it. I'm not going to cover that because it's so difficult. But there's another way to do it. And I'm just not going to cover it. Sorry. I already, I'm like on, I've already done it, you know, five times, and it's just too difficult. If someone else has put that out there on their YouTube channel, and this workaround doesn't work for you, it should work for everybody. But if it doesn't, or it's too complicated, there's another one, and it's super complicated, and I'll have to say good luck to that, on you on that. If it's out there, and you can find it, um, I wouldn't do it. It would drive you nuts. So, that's it for this very quick episode of Therapy Hugs. I'm sorry if right now um, 
you're just not seeing any flight sim, like flight flights on my channel, and this is boring for you, um, you know, uh, I'm just trying to help anyone out there who's having issues with their brand new Phoenix and, you know, just can't solve it, to solve it. So, there you go. Hopefully this works for all of you, and I'm going to say thank you for watching Dirt Your Hose. Um, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, like, and share my videos, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the skies.